she have killed her. Yeah. She don't die. She don't die. Yes, sir. You are sure she don't die. She don't die. And you, you are comfortable now. So you are the one that killed her, I won't die you. She don't die. No, she don't die. Now you kill her. Yes, sir. Yes. Now you kill her. Yes, sir. It's a liar. It's okay. Thank you. What's that your name? John. John who? John Juma. John Juma. So you try and congratulations. You have wasted somebody's life. And you are comfortable, Abby. You have tried. Welcome back guys, I trust you've been staying safe. Now today's true crime story is coming to you from Nigeria in West Africa and it involves another senseless femicide with regards to a private security officer who had just been released from bail after an initial court hearing in which he was on trial for having allegedly stolen $10,000 belonging to his employer decided that the only way for him to win this court case was to make sure that his employer would never be able to set foot in that court. What did he do? It will baffle your mind. This is the true crime story of a victim by name Boma Amuamu Jumbo and how she was silenced by her own private security officer. It's an ongoing case as of May 9th, 2023. If you are ready for this true crime story, just buckle up and let's go. Before we get into the facts of the case, kindly go to the comment section and just type stop the femicide or say no to femicide. This is to help our campaign that we've just launched to create and spread the awareness on the increasing rates of femicide worldwide in our bid to help protect our women. Statistics are showing that femicide is on the rise and it's hitting record levels. And as a true crime channel, if you go to our playlist, you see several incidents to support this. And I'm sure you've seen some in various forms, in various ways, at wherever you are in the world listening to this or watching this. So just help drive this campaign for us and make the world a better place as you watch our video. Go to the comment section, just type say no to femicide or stop the femicide. And then collectively, we all do our bit to drive this awareness. Now to the facts of today's case. So the police command in River State of Nigeria in West Africa were confronted with this finding where they found a very senior officer of the government who used to hold a key position in one of the facilities in the government agencies butchered to death. It was unclear at the time who would have done this to her. Her name was Boma Amwamu Jumbo and she was the former director of the administration in a facility called UPTH in Nigeria. So investigations would start from this point. And with such investigations, the first thing to do is to look at people that this person has had any misunderstanding with or people that she currently has a misunderstanding with as well as sniffing for information from residents and neighbors of this person. Now, as part of other bits of investigation that they were doing, in addition to these possible things, they got wind of information that she had just come back from court not long ago, and it was with regards to a case that she had brought against her former security person. And in actual fact, this former security person had also been arrested on the day of the crime by some citizens. They, they, they executed a citizen's arrest on this guy. So it seemed like, oh, then the police were going to just have an easy one because this was most likely going to be an open and shut case. So they delved in. And these are the findings that they had. It turns out that it was true. Miss Jumbo had actually 
come back from court not long ago and it was also true that the person she brought the suit against in court was actually her former private security officer and the accusation was that she suspected him of being the one who stole her ten thousand dollars from her apartment although this private security officer had denied vehemently, she just kept on with the pressure and lodged the report with the police got this guy arrested and then a case was brought against this guy in court so they actually went for the first court case and this guy was placed in remand only to be released on bail after that pending the next court hearing and it was at this point that Miss Jumbo had been found dead. So who was this private person? Well, his name is John Danjuma and it turns out that he had a lot to do about what has happened to Miss Jumbo. As it will turn out per investigations, when Danjuma was released on bail, he decided that Nah, this woman has accused me of stealing her $10,000. And, well, I still maintain my innocence, but she has taken it to the extent that I actually got arrested, placed on remand, and prosecutions have started against me. So if I'm fortunate to have been released on bail, then the best thing I have to do is to make sure that she doesn't make it back to court to appear on the next date of court hearing and then continue to further enable the state to prosecute me. Is it a wise taking? No, it's a very stupid one. But that's exactly what he did. So in his efforts to ensure that he will make sure Miss Jumbo never shows up in court again, he decided not to go and beg her or maybe to go and settle amicably with her so that she withdraws the case but instead he decided that he was going to take her life so he snuck into her apartment and waited for her and when she came back from work using her own machete he just ended her life but that is the account I've narrated let's go and listen or let me say watch the confession testimony of John Danjuma after he was picked up by the police for doing this to his former employer. And even after taking her life, it didn't end there. He actually stole her jewelry. So I don't get it. If he was actually innocent of the first theft he was accused of, why the need to go and end her life and then also decide to steal her jewelry? But let's go and watch the confession video. I'll come back afterwards. Studio, we enter the house. Yes. You get inside here. Yes. Nobody see you. Yes. So this afternoon you come inside to kill her. When this rent the forty seven. Now you kill her. Yes. You carry for last. Yes. You carry for last. Come to your house. No, the for okay. last. Okay. Inside her house. Inside her house. Inside the chicken. Okay, now you come for last. Now come for. You just okay. decide to kill her. Oh, why did you no, kill her? Eh? You are happy you have killed her? The plain truth about it is the prostitute, this woman is going to me for court, and our case is coming next to me. So you killed her, so the case will not come out? Eh? Not to stop that. Say his wife. No, the law, the first law, he asked for me, and she chopped down the right hand along that, and she washed upon the roller. All this one is. To come and kill you, man, that is why you run to the house and stay in the house at the night. You must be, you must be a hearty criminal. Mm. So you have the spare key of the house because I know she lost her dog. Find the Raise your face, let me see. Through window. Raise your face. Through window. Yes. No bungalow in the window. Bungalow. You break her. She not know. Oh my God. 
did not see me. She did not see you? No, she did not see me. And you were there from that I... 3 a.m. Yeah. So what do you eat? Did you eat anything? Throughout today, I never eat anything. I solely mineral water. From there? Yes. I so so what, what, what has informed your mind now? What did you to kill her. To kill her. You were there from morning, around 3 a.m. till almost 5 o'clock. And they see on the past. They they the you never, you, oh, yes. it's not done anything. So what has come over you to say, okay, carry the, where did you carry the cutlass from? Where, where you carry the black cutlass? <laughs> I saw her kitchen there. Her you kitchen like the, 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 the store. store. Uh, yes, now. Inside the store. Yes, now back store. of the door. Yes. Now you put them back. Yes. And when you kill and finish, now you put the... You carry the cutlass. Okay, what, what was your purpose of... Uh, going to the woman's house, that early morning. The truth about that, because me and she will have fish with the pot, and our German is coming next to me. Okay. Because they brought to me about ten thousand dollars. Dollars. And that money I did not steal it. So, you did not steal the money. You but you're on bail already. I'm telling you. You're yeah. on bail. Well, Court so, granted you bail. Yeah. Is that not? Yeah. Now you know that you did not steal the money. Why should you go back to her to house her. to take her to life? To keep the evidence. Okay, before going to her house this yesterday, this morning, did you kill any other woman? The person that introduced you killed somebody. You, introduced you to that woman. You went to that one's house. True or false? Just tell her the simple truth. You not kill your sister. We introduce you to this to woman. the woman, your hmm? your guarantor, the person. We introduce you to the woman. You know, kill him this morning. You never kill the person. No. Are you sure? No. Okay. When you kill and finish, what thing carry you go her her room? Her, her room go scatter everywhere. Rob everything. Spoil her phone. Everything. Carry jewelry. Carry everything. Where the bag? Where you take? Carry? Where the bag? As that boy, the costume in there, I dropped the bag. What now? What do you carry from the house? My jewelry, sir. Jewelry? Yes, sir. Okay, see, for the attack in here. Yes, mm -hmm. you go to, the, go to her room. Ransack everywhere. everywhere. Even scatter Car expensive scatter phones. Scatter the woman. Why do you scatter the phones? Expensive phones. phones are from there. They fall on top of that. Okay, uh, let's, let's continue tomorrow. Okay. Let's continue tomorrow. Okay. Well, so you heard it for yourself. That was his confession video. And I watched this video severally and I kept asking myself to what end? What was this guy hoping to achieve after committing this gruesome crime? It is yet to be proven that he had actually stolen this $10,000. But with what he has done after being released on bail, whilst he was on trial for allegedly stealing this money, I don't see how he can now even convince the court or anyone for that matter that he was actually innocent of that accusation. But I leave that for the court to decide. To the substantive murder, it makes everything worse for this guy. And there is no way he can beat this. I'll stick my neck my neck out i don't think there is any way he can beat this case because he was caught red-handed he has even confessed i don't know how it will play out with this confession whether he can come back and plead it was under duress but let's go with what we've heard him say if it's anything to go by i still don't understand it and it's becoming too rampant instances where young people are having this thinking that the only way to be successful is to cut corners and not do the work and most often when it comes to cutting of corners it means that somebody either has to lose their lives or someone has to become a victim of their scam i just don't get it and here is the case you are already on trial for a theft you are claiming you are innocent of and if you are fortunate to be released on bail the next best thing you had in mind to do was to go and lay ambush against the one who was getting you prosecuted and take her life. And it didn't even end there. 
you allegedly moved on to steal her jewelry. Now, how do you convince anybody that you are innocent of the first case of theft leveled against you? Like I said, this case is still ongoing and I'll be following to see the details as and when they come up and how the final verdict will be. Unfortunately, Jumbo, the victim, wouldn't be around to speak to her side of the issue and this is where sometimes I get so sad because no matter the punishment or the verdict that will be handed down to John Danjuma for what he has allegedly done, the damage has already been done. Nothing can bring the victim back and her family will just have to find a form of closure based on the sentencing that will be handed over to this guy if found guilty. Sometimes I feel like it's not enough but hey, I think that is where the justice system has got into. Maybe in other countries, in other states, in other countries or provinces in other countries, there could have been the death penalty which, are, which would have actually been carried out and even with that, it still wouldn't bring back the victim. And it's one of the reasons why I feel that acts of femicide are just over the top. Not to say that other forms of murder are okay, but this is what is on the increase. That's how come I'm zooming in on it. And I hope that the soul of Jumbo rests peacefully and her family are able to find the strength to move on from this. Now, when this incident also happened, it brought about divergent views because a section of the public were trying to blame the police for releasing the guy on bail when his case was in court and the guy getting the chance to go and take the life of Miss Jumbo. On that, uh, for me, I beg to differ. They couldn't have seen this coming, actually. And he's not the first guy to go through that. If it's something about a procedural breach, then maybe it can be looked at from that angle. But just to extend blame or try to extend blame to the police for releasing him on bail when his trial was ongoing, scheduled to reappear in court, just because the victim ended up getting killed by the guy they released, I think that's too much of a stretch. They can't see into the future and they need to be cut some slack unless legally they did something wrong. I can't tell because it's a different jurisdiction. I don't know how things play out there. But like I said, the case is still ongoing. I'll be monitoring and as and when there are updates, I will bring them to you. Again, support our cause against femicide by just going to the comment section and typing say no to femicide or stop the femicide and share the video to help spread the awareness. Like I always say, keep an eye out, stay safe out there, subscribe to the channel if you are yet to do so, hit the notification button, it's actually free but it helps us to grow and spread our message and share the video with others so that we all learn from some of these things. I'll catch you next time.